It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Here we are close to the end of this year's elementary school competition. Two grade schools here today having twice won before and one of them will come back to play Oxen Hill as the second of two finalists in this year's competition. Started out with 40 elementary schools almost down to the final two. Let's meet today's teams. First from Fort Foot Elementary School, which is say hello to Jace, their captain. Wave to everybody, Jace. He is joined by two great colleagues. Zachariah is here and Leona Maria, Leona Marie. They'll be playing against Thomas Stone. Let's say hello to Damien. Hey, Damien, good to have you back. Joined by Frisia over there, and Peyton is here too. Nice to have all of you guys here. If you're not familiar with the Science Bowl, we hope you've been watching, but if you haven't, we have six categories of questions. Let's share those with you right now. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the question. The easier questions on the left worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones, 15, 20, ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points just for looking as good as they do. No deductions ever. At the end of the two rounds, one of these two teams will advance to play, as we were just saying, Oxen Hill for the chance to become the second of this year's finalists. Let's make sure everything is working properly. Let's go to that red team. And Jace, would you try your buzzer, please? All right. Thank you, Jace. Good luck to you, Leona Marie and Zachariah. Damien, would you try the green teams? He's got a nice good push over there, too. Good luck to Damien and Peyton and Frizia. Uh, congratulations, guys, making it this far in the competition. We know you're elite students, and I know we're going to have a great game. May the better team win. We go alphabetically F before T, so Fort Foot and Jace. Let's play that bowl. Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points, teams. Since the venom from a cobra can kill a person, but it has no effect on a mongoose, which is immune to it and likes to eat cobras for lunch, the better term for an animal like the cobra is not venomous, but rather this T initial term. Mm. What you got? Thomas Stone, rather than venomous, since the venom is ineffective against a mongoose, a snake, a predator like the cobra, could best be described by a T initial adjective to describe its lethal status. Toxic, toxic oh, is what I'm looking for. Oh, Go again, red. Go red, Jace. Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25, big one in that category. Let's look at the picture. A visual question worth 25 points. We're gonna take you down to Puerto Rico and show you the Anoli lizards. Boy, they're beautiful. They have been adapting quickly to life in the city. Yep, they now have special scales on the bottom of their feet so they can cling to the glass during a hurricane. They have bigger feet so they can run across hot parking lots to get away from cats. Those kinds of adaptations are what Charles Darwin called natural what? Selection. Natural selection. Yes, sir. That's it. Good. Natural selection gets you 25 points. Go, Fort Foot. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. All right. This is very interesting. It's been discovered that many plants have leaves that are covered with wax and curved. So a bat's cries will echo off the leaves and lead the bat to the plant's flowers to provide this service. 
Ford foot. Pollination. Yes, absolutely right. Because bats, like birds and insects, are great pollinators, all right? So the plant is saying, okay, runway, bring it on in. Bring it on in. Go red. Let's get physical for 25. Physical for 25 points. Here's that question. Uh, it is also a visual question. Physical for 25. Let's have a look at the spinning windmills. This is a wind farm. The spinning windmill blades on a wind farm are connected to these T-initialed machines. Transformer. No, sir. Thomas Stone, the spinning wheel blades on a wind farm are connected to these T-initialed machines that are responsible for generating electricity. What you got? Yes, sir. Um, pasta frizia? Frizia, what do you got? Turbines. Turbines is what we're looking for there. Go again, please, red. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Okay, let's cover it quiet on the set. Body systems for 25 was chosen by the red team. Uh, lots of big words, but, be care but it's a simple answer. Listen carefully. People suffering from heart failure sometimes have a pumping device implanted in their heart. It's called an LVAD. The AD stands for assist device placed in this LV section of your heart. Thomas Stone. Left ventricle? Yes, indeed. You got yourself 25 points. Go, Thomas Stone. <clears throat> Let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. Natural gas, like coal and petroleum, is considered this kind of fuel since it is derived from long dead organisms. Thomas Stone. Fossil fuels? They are fossil. It is a fossil fuel, indeed. All of them are. Good. All right, almost a tie score, 95, 85, advantage red, but green you get to pick. Uh, let's get physical 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Multiple choice. Of the following substances, only one is a chemical element on the periodic table. Is it scandium, ammonite, or benzene? Damien? Scandium. Scandium, yes, it ends in I-U-M, oftentimes a tip-off that it is a chemical element. Good. You have a five-point lean, 100 to 95. Go green. Body systems for 10. Body for 10 points. Here's that question. It is in the morning that our bodies are better able to produce this pancreatic hormone that regulates our blood sugar. Thomas Stone? Insulin? Insulin is correct. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Go again. Uh, body systems for 15. Body for 15 points. This is interesting. One of the symptoms of someone suffering a concussion, like an athlete on the field, is that these body parts, of which you have two, are either dilated or different sizes. Eyes. Foot. Eyes. Be more specific. Oh. The pupils. Pupils, that's what I want to hear. Good, the pupils are either dilated or they are different sizes. All right, the buzzer says we've come to the end of this important game and look at that score. It is a tie. 110 for Fort Foot, 110 for Thomas Stone. Great second half, straight ahead. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Science Bowl. So happy to have you here today. Our students are up there, they're waving, they're having a great time here. Not only are they having a great time, but boy, they're showing off their science skills here. They are all terrific. If you didn't watch them earlier in the season, let's introduce them to you right now. Let's go over to Fort Foot and Jace. Tell us about Fort Foot. Who is your principal? Fort Foot's principal is Dr. Daniels. Dr. Daniels, I know she's out there. She's a huge fan of you and this entire team. And who's the coach of your team? And the coach of our team is Dr. Davis. Dr. Davis, yes. So uh, very proud of all of you guys here. Do you have any alternates? I think you have one alternate, don't you, Jace? Oh, Who's yes. that? That's Joseph Brake. And we'll bring Joseph out in just a few moments here. Something about Fort Foot. Now, you are the defending champion, we should remind the audience. You won the championship last year. You're defending this title. So are you rock stars at Fort Foot? We're not just rock stars. We are more than just rock stars. More than just rock stars. I like hearing We that. are the volcanoes. Oh, 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 Take note of that, Fort Foot. You are the volcanoes. Tell me, Jason, about yourself. What do you want to do someday? Um, I want to be a pilot, a scientist, a doctor, and uh, an engineer. 
Something tells me you could almost do all those at the same time. So talented are you, Jace. It's always it's a pleasure to have you on our show. Zachariah, nice to have you with us today. Tell us what you want to do. Someday you're dreaming of? I'm dreaming of being a bioengineer. Bioengineer. How did you get interested in that? Um, I used to have a teacher that um, went to college for bioengineering. Wow. So that teacher made the difference. Yeah, that's what teachers do. What do you do in your spare time, Zachariah? Um, sports and video games. And what sports do you like? Um, bas basketball, soccer, and football. Wow, so you're an all-round athlete. Nice to have you here. Leona Marie, very young player. She's in the fourth grade. Why did you want to be on our show? We I love having you. I wanted to be on our show because I wanted to learn more from the questions and the answers to me are interesting. Yeah, I hope you are learning a lot. And you told me that you, uh, you're a photographer, uh, you use your cell phone, you want to grow up and be a painter? Yes. Yeah, so very artistic young lady. Nice to have you here. Thomas Stone, nice to have you guys back. Damien, the same questions. Who is that principal of Thomas Stone? Same old Mr. Hintz. Ah, he is a wonderful guy, and uh, I know he also has matching shirts. All of you guys are wearing matching shirts today. The tiger is there, and over at Fort Foot, what is your mascot? Roar. The roar. The roar is the mascot. No, it's the bear. A, ba a bear. I got it. Okay. Damien, tell us uh, who your coach is. Our coach is Mr. Ford. Wonderful. And I know he is all in on Science Boy. I know how hard he has worked with you guys, and it's paying off. Uh, something about your school you really like? Um, I love all the opportunities that students like me and my teammates have to learn and try new things. You're so very articulate. Uh, tell me uh, a little bit about your goals. What do you want to do someday? Someday I hope to get a college degree in engineering and will hopefully attend Embry-Riddle and will one day work for NASA maybe. I or have pilot. no doubt that's going to happen. You are uh, you're a very articulate young man, as I was saying, and you're a great scientist. I love how you play the game. Good luck in the second half here. Prissy, nice to have you here today. You want to be a doctor, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did you get interested in medicine? What was that moment when you thought, hmm, I want to do this? Um, I want to take care of kids and people that are sick, and I want them to feel better. Of course. And I don't want them to feel ill or uncomfortable. Yeah, absolutely. That's what doctors, it says doctors, they take a Hippocratic oath that says do no harm. Do no harm. So get in there and see what you can do to make them feel better. Nice to have you on the show here today. Peyton, uh, nice to have you on the program. Tell, you, tell us why you wanted to be on the Science Bowl. Because um, I'll be able to meet new people and learn more about science. Those are wonderful reasons. And hopefully you're making some friends here. Yeah. Hopefully you're, you're like Liana Marie, learning some things, but also we want to hear what you know, you know, and tell us a little bit. What do you want to do someday? I want to become a doctor. Doctor, yeah, very good. All right, a couple doctors up there today. <laughs> Let's get back into our game. Tie score, 110 all. Last correct answer came from Fort Foot. So Jace, uh, you're up, go. Green things for 25, please. Green things for 25 points. All right, listen carefully, teams. Of all the plant-based milks, the best one nutritionally is soy milk. Since it contains all these kinds of essential acids needed to make our bodies proteins. Amino acids. Just amino. wait till we recognize you before you say your answer. Go ahead, Jace. Amino acids. Amino acids is correct. Good answer. 25 points. Go. Because you said an acid that makes protein. Go ahead. Body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20. Here's that question. Two body parts that are homonyms, words that are spelled differently but are pronounced the same, are ileum. I-L-E-U-M is the lower part of your small intestine. I-L-I-U-M is a bone that's part of this P-initial part of your body. Fort foot. Which part is it? Zachariah. Talk among yourselves in case I have to come to you. Damien, we're looking for a P-initial part of the body. Don't say it out loud. Jace, what you got? Let's go over to Thomas Stone. Pelvis? Pelvis is right. Good. All right, go green. <clears throat> Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. <laughs> the main chemical ingredient in tooth whiteners is dihydrogen dioxide, symbolized as H2O2, better known as hydrogen what? 
Fort Foot. Peroxide. Yes, sir. It is hydro, and we got that in triplicate. Y'all knew that one. Hydro, and uh, you got some good smiles over there. Maybe you're using tooth whiteners. Yeah, maybe it's just natural. Go red. Science potpourri for 25, please. Potpourri for 25. Big one in that category. This is interesting. Some of you know that in Egypt they used to make mummies. Well, if you want to turn yourself into an Egyptologist, you can do it with the mummification of a hot dog. How do you do it? All you need is a box that can be sealed, sealed, and a supply of the chemical sodium bicarbonate. Better known as this, Fort Foot. Baking soda. Baking soda, yeah. Put the baking soda all over the hot dog. It'll dry it all out, and you will have a mummified hot dog. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Go red. Dateline. All right, you have a 50-point lead, 180 to 130. Jace, go. Dateline science for 25, please. Dateline science for 25 points. Big one in that category. Listen carefully. Testing the DNA found in the hair of the late composer Ludwig von Beethoven revealed that Beethoven was predisposed to diseases of this organ and may, in fact, have died from hepatitis. For foot. Liver. Liver is correct. Yes, indeed. Hepatitis is a disease of the liver. Go again. Dateline signs for 20, please. Dateline signs for 20 points. Since no one knew where eels came from, eels are those slimy fish that sometimes are electrified. Since no one knew where eels came from, the Greek philosopher Aristotle said he believed they sprang up naturally from mud, a theory known as spontaneous what? Fort foot. Combustion? Not combustion. These eels, they came just out of the mud all on their own. A theory back then known as spontaneous what, Thomas Stone? Spontaneous creation? Ooh, close. Spontaneous generation. Spontaneous generation. Good try. Both teams, no points. Go back to red. Jace, you pick. Science potpourri for 20, please. Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. A new, this is multiple choice, a newly named scientific field with this big, now, big long name, chrononutrition, C-H-R-O-N-O, -O, chrononutrition, says, which of the following? Eating the right kinds of fats is important in the diet, or that standing up decreases the chances of becoming overweight, or that you should eat a large breakfast and progressively smaller meals throughout the day. Chrononutrition, Jace. Well, I know that chrono means something about keep on coming back, like chronic, and nutrition means something about eating. Which of the three that I gave you are you choosing? The first one. The first one about uh, eating the right kinds of fats being important in the diet. Uh, that is not correct. Chrono nutrition. Damien? The third one? The third one is correct, yes. Uh, eating a large breakfast and progressively smaller meals throughout the day. Chrono also refers to time, like a chronometer. That was the clue there. Okay, good. Answer, you're on the way back. Come on, Damien. Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade, 10 points. Here you go. Unlike insects, arachnids do not have these projections atop their heads to sense the environment. Fort Foot. Antenna. Yeah, they don't have antenna. Spiders don't have antenna. All right, go red. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. If you're repotting a plant, moving it from a smaller pot to a larger one, that plant can suffer transplant shock if you damage these plant parts in the process. Damien? Roots? The roots, absolutely right. Thank you, Frizia. Good answer. Yeah, you got a nice pat from the captain over there. Go green. Green things 10. Green things 10. Huh, this will give you pause. One of the germiest parts in your kitchen is the jars containing ginger, curry powder, paprika, cinnamon, and other kinds of these. Fort Foot. Spices. Spices. Thank you, Zachariah. Yes, indeed. Those are all spices. Yeah, because people's hands, they tack, and somehow bacteria grows on those, those jars. Go, red. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. A migrating bird's GPS is usually the recognition of geographical features down below. Or it's the bird's ability to visualize these fields that circle the Earth for magnetic fields. Magnetic fields, yes. Birds are sensitive magnetic fields. Good. 
homing pigeon. Very much so, absolutely. And they, they can find their, there is a bird that can migrate from the North Pole to the South Pole, and they use those magnetic fields as indicators. Go red. Science potpourri for 15 points, please. Potpourri for 15, your question is as follows. Your smartphone can help you monitor your body's vital signs and even help diagnose certain conditions. If you put your fingerprint over your phone's camera, it can tell you your heart rate. I think you jumped in a little too soon there, Damien. Yeah. I appreciate that enthusiasm. If you put your fingerprint uh, four foot over your phone's camera, it can tell you your heart rate. And since your phone has one of these instruments, it can even tell you if you have sleep apnea. Yes, sir. Well, I know that sleep apnea. Uh... What kind of instrument is in the phone? Yeah. It's a microphone. Oh. It's a microphone so it can tell if you're snoring and making those noises at night. Otherwise, you might not know. Go again, please, Red. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Since phasing out aerosol sprays, aerosol sprays, this O initial layer of the atmosphere that protects us from ultraviolet radiation, Damien? Ozone. Ozone, yeah. It's actually getting thicker. That's good news. That's good news. Go. Green Things 5. Green Things 5. All right. After waters from the great flood started to recede, Noah saw that a dove returned to the ark, holding in its beak a branch from this tree long regarded as a symbol. Jace. Olive tree. It was an olive branch. Absolutely right. Symbol of peace. Good. Yes, sir. Go. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri, 10 points. Question is as follows. When creatures like spiders, frogs, chimpanzees, and praying mantises eat members of their own kind, it's known as this C initialed. Cannibalism. That's right. They eat each other. Charming. Yeah, go. Green. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Go green. Dateline for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Question is as follows. The best-selling book, The Monster's Bones, the discovery of T-Rex and how it shook our world. It's the story of Barnum Brown, one of the earliest and most successful of these kinds. Jace? Paleontologist. Yeah, he's a paleontologist. You got that one right. Nice answer. Go. Whoa, look, Brett, how sweaty. Jace, let's go. Um, zoo parade. Four? We only have zoo parade for five? Is the only one left. Here we go. Uh, Babe was a famous pig in the movies. But in folklore, Babe was a blue one of these animals owned by Paul Bunyan. Bull. It's a bull. Mm -hmm. Not quite. Thomas Stone? Babe a blue. was owned by Paul Bunyan. It was a blue one of these. Blue buffalo? Ox. ox. It was an ox. Yeah, go again red. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. One of the biggest scientific breakthroughs in 2022 was the success of nuclear fusion, a process that produces more energy than it takes to make it. Just like what happens in this heavenly body 93 million miles from Earth. Four foot. The sun. The sun, that's right, a huge fusion factory up there. The buzzer has sounded, it looks like Four Foot has done it and will be in contention for yet another county championship. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed this game at home. What great students we have here. We knew they were elite students. They wouldn't have made it this far without having been so. And what great sports they are too. They're congratulating each other and uh, they are great representatives of all the students in Prince George's County here. Our final tally today is Thomas Stone 190, Fort Foot 260. Congratulations to the Volcanoes over here. Let's give a nice round of applause. And a nice round of applause for the Thomas Stone students over there, the Tigers. Let's hear a roar over there. Roar. All right. <laughs> oh, I like that too. Damien, would you be good enough to introduce everybody standing back there? All right, so starting over here, we have an alternate, Jaden. Another alternate behind me is Nicholas. And the final alternate is Siobhan. And? Our coach over here is Mr. Ford. Absolutely, the VIP over there. The Thank you, Mr. Ford, for all that you do. And over here, we getting have everybody my here today. Thank you, Damien, we for you did a nice job there. Jace, would you introduce everybody back there, please? Well, we Take got. Take your hands down so we can got, hear you. Okay. 
Well, we got Dr. Daniels, yeah. Dr. Davis, Joseph Brake. Wonderful, and uh, congratulations, guys. You're getting close to another county championship. We appreciate all the hard work all of you guys have put in, and uh, we appreciate you tuning in and watching the Science Bowl. We hope you'll join us for the finale here in, as we conclude our 37th season here in Science Bowl, the final coming up soon. Hope to see you then. I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye.